Um, I, hi, what's what's your is your name Yvette? I would assume. Yes, Yvette. <laughs> okay, so your question is, why does my son resent me so much, and will my son talk to me again? Let's see. I don't know if you're gonna get this, but I I have to say this. Um, someone's influencing him. I, I I don't know if it's if it's father. Someone's like influencing him or talking his ear that's making him feel differently about you. Um, and I think that you're being more of a parent than the other parent. And that's the reason, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I think that's the resentment. And I feel like either the father energy is saying something in his ears, oh, mom, this, and not allowing him to do, or didn't allow him to do what he wanted to do in the past. And so um, he's that free reign. I, I think you're, you don't allow him to get away with things. And I think that bothers him. Now, I think that you could also lighten up a little bit. I say some love because I think at the same time that you could say, well, he's, he's out where he's at now. There's nothing more I can do. So I'm just going to lighten up, let him, let him learn the hard way. He has to learn and just lighten up a bit. You know, I, I think that he's going to have a, a major detour in life anyways, even if you try that or not. So I just think he's, there's going to be some silence for another five years or at least a lack of that you know, connection for another five years just because where I'm seeing his trajectory is going. Um, not that it's bad. I just think he's all over the place. Um, and I think that I see a parallel energy with his, because I feel like his dad is kind of like, oh, who cares? Don't worry about it. Like that kind of dismissive energy. I think he's doing that in his own life too. Like just like easily dropping shit, not taking responsibility. So he's got to learn the consequences of what it's like to not take responsibility. So he's you got to let him figure that out, right? Yeah. But sometimes the mother has to let the bird fly the nest and just go. You know, and, and not and not try to, you know, influence with them. But but yes, but it goes deeper, like I said, but with the talking in his ear and the experience growing up and you know, um, I feel like you had to carry so much more than you thought you had to. And I think that a lot of that burn is always falling on you. And so I think because of that, that gets pushed into the relationship with him. And so that might be unconsciously. Yeah. That you just and he's getting that pressure. And so then he's like, Oh, I don't want that pressure. I have enough pressure, you know. So Eventually, but I think it's time to try to allow yourself to exhale on that a little bit, okay? And just let him just take his detour. Yeah, what he's doing, okay? Yeah. That makes sense. It does. Okay. It, it really does. Yeah. Okay. And, he, and you hit it on the the nail on the head because Dad was in prison for half of his life, and as soon as Dad got out, you know, Dad is Father of the Year. Right. 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 Yeah. Because Dad's a, Dad's not doing anything. He's living on the edge. He's not being structured. You so know? yeah, and he. He's um, living with him, so it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. But he's gonna, yeah. he is gonna change, turn around in five years, and be like, Mom, I'm so, I've been a jackass, I'm sorry. And so you guys will get close again. So I definitely okay. see a big change. Almost like he'll become a, a, a you know, older mama's boy. Yeah. So um, so there is that coming in the future. So just take a breath, say, all right, let, let him do his thing, right? Yeah, let, let it is what it is. It out. <laughs> right, but like, I love you, I love you, but all right, I get it, do your thing. Because I know you'll be coming back to the real yeah. love as he matures be intuitive be intuitive mama no he'll learn to figure it out you know okay all right good. but you've done you've done everything you, you can right you, you've been so yeah. good at that now it's time for you to allow yourself to decompress a little bit and just exhale you know and not allow this to be so burdening you get live for you right now it doesn't mean you're being selfish it means that you have to care take yourself right now and yeah let that be the focus at this point it, it, you know it, it's pretty heartbreaking because i sent him a happy father's day you know text and i got absolutely nothing back so i was like oh okay wait let me tell you something he did not tech he, he did not avoid it what he did was he was intoxicated and just forgot about it so it's not that he's necessarily avoiding you it's like oh it's not his priority to like put love into something he's like message received he's like what he's like okay cool next yeah you know so it's not so much avoidance as it is just being kind of not so attentive. Yeah, he's he'll be 23, so I know he's drinking and partying. So. And smoking, because there's a lot of smoke <laughs> around him and yeah. drinking and all, you yeah. know. I mean, not every 23 year old does it either, but right. I mean, he's definitely inebriated a lot. Yeah. And when I'm seeing him like sitting down, like by a coffee table, he's like, you know, sitting there rolling a the joint and then like the phone goes off, taxi puts it down, fizzes the joint, smokes it and goes on his, his night. Yeah, that's you know? all right. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> so it's less avoidance, less just being so absent-minded. But you know, again, twenty-three. When he gets older, has to be a man to start realizing his mom is the most important yeah. thing. As he gets, older. especially for having a grandmother. Yeah, for sure. You know? All right. Well, it was a pleasure, my love. Have a wonderful. Right. Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 -bye.